and welcome in. My name is Boki and I'm here with Gigi's Fabric Shop, home to Juki Junkies. And we have a really fun video today. I got David, also known as HD. And I got Presley. <laughs> and today's video, we are going to be dissecting thread for you guys. So we're going to be talking about our top four threads for domestic home sewing machines. Presley's going to be telling us all the fun facts. And make sure you stay tuned until the end of this video because we're going to have a really fun giveaway. So you don't want to miss out on that. We are so happy to have Presley here today. She's going to answer some deep scientific questions about that thread for us. <laughs> so Presley, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us all about Haberdash. Yeah, thank you for having me, Boki and David. <laughs> um, I love Juki Junkies. They're one of my favorites. Um, and our warehouse is actually located just about 15 minutes down the road. So, lucky. <laughs> so I'm Presley and I have been with Filtech, who is the manufacturer of all of these products for almost four years now. Um, Filtech manufactures all of these threads in Hagerstown, Maryland, and we have various distribution centers across the U.S. and one here in Tampa, Florida. So we are going to discuss all four thread lines today. So we're going to get into the nitty gritty of how you can use these threads and why you're going to be so obsessed with them. Alrighty, Presley, we want to challenge you. Tell us three fun facts about Filtech. Okay, so we can start with Filtech as a whole has five different divisions, and a lot of our thread is used in military applications, which is kind of cool. That's awesome. Um, and we also, Glide 40, um, has been approved by the Institute of Heraldry, meaning that it can be used on military projects, wow. such as patches. Um, so if you um, are making patches at home, we do have an Institute of Heraldry guide on our website. Wow. wow, that's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, check that out. That's yeah, awesome. so pretty neat. Um, another fun fact is that um, we have a patented product um, that I'll talk about later in the video. Um, that's our MagnaGlide bobbin. So these were created at Filtech and patented by Filtech. And this is really how we got our start in the industry, in the embroidery and quilting world. And what exactly is it? Is it you were saying it's like cross wound, so it stays together well, or yeah. So or not only more? do we produce the core that you see in the middle, um, but we also have patented our cross link winding technology. Hmm. So that is what that technology is what holds this thread on the bobbin. So oh. you can see it's sideless. We don't have any plastic covering yeah. or right. cardboard it's covering. Oh. So, um, in order to keep it all on there, we patented the winding technology. It's pretty house. cool because it's like when you touch it, it's like feels hard. It's like, how doesn't it fall right. apart? It's like, how is this not coming apart? It's pretty yeah. cool. So, that's what that technology is. Yeah. Does more fit on there than like if I were to wind a bobbin? Yes. So, on this um, L size bobbin, we have 72 yards. Wow. Um, so, you would probably be able to get maybe 50. Wow. So your efficiency, sewing efficiencies are going to be a lot better. Cool. Um, and into the hobbyist, um, it may not matter, but when you're talking about hundreds of thousands mm -hmm. of these running at a huge yeah. embroidery right. um, manufacturer, then um, efficiencies come. I don't know. Even for me, it matters when a bobbin runs out. It's all fun and games yeah. until that bobbin runs out and you're like halfway through the project and nothing oh, yeah. linked because you <laughs> ran out. It's so sad. Yeah. So um, this is our pride and joy. Um, and we have, we'll talk about those later on in the video. Um, and then the last fun fact is that Filtech is on its third generation. Um, it's a family owned company and we're on our third generation of wow. um, checks. So That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's awesome. awesome. It's we, uh, a family, family business. Family business similar to um, Juki Junkies, yeah. Gigi's cool. Fabric Shop, and Gigi's is the number one Glide seller in the Southeast. All because so of you guys. Pretty cool. You're in good hands. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So David, what thread would you want to start with? Let's start out with Glide 40 because I think that that is the most popular thread we see on Juki Junkies and I yeah. think it's the most like <laughs> universal thread purchased. So tell us a little bit about it. So Glide is our bread and butter product. Um, it has this beautiful sheen that you can see here. Um, it pretty much blends into any fabric that you sew it onto. Um, so a little bit about Glide. So Glide is a trilobal polyester. Mm -hmm. And much or complete opposite from how you would look at a cotton thread having that fuzzy, um, soft look, um, Glide's going to have 
at the continuous filament which goes through the entire strand. So this entire spool has the same amount of filaments and um, the same fiber throughout. So there's no splices. So that's what makes it so, so wonderfully for you. So Glod is a 40 weight polyester. Mm. The trilobal cross section of it gives it the shiny appearance. So it's picking up all of the light that's on it and reflecting it to the human eye. That's pretty that's cool. That's pretty cool. That's and something I didn't even know. <laughs> this is, is Glide 40 made in the USA? Where is it made? Tell us a little bit about like who manufactures it. Is it, uh, you know, Glide, when you say Glide 40, that's not technically the brand. That's the brand underneath Habdash, right? Or right. Filtech or what is that? So explain that to us. So it's a common question. So yeah. Filtech is the manufacturer of all of the threads that you can see here. Mm -hmm. okay. Habdash is actually our e-commerce store where we sell Glide to dealers like Juki Junkies, Juki Fabric Shop. Gotcha. Um, and so Glide is actually manufactured in Hagerstown, Maryland, and it's distributed pretty much all across the world at this point. That's awesome. That's awesome. Sweet. That is super cool. So tell us about um, kind of the applications you'd be using Glide 40 weight for. A lot of people say it's an embroidery thread only. A lot of people say yeah. it's for everything. So tell us what what you, you know, since you work for Filtech, tell us mm -hmm. what you think about Glide 40 weight and the applications you'd like yeah. to see it used on. Yeah, so Glide is really a thread that you can use anywhere, but the most common areas are gonna be embroidery, mm -hmm. long arm quilting, especially loves the big king spool. Mm -hmm. um, you're gonna get 5,500 yards on this wow. cone versus 1,100 on this one. Um, so embroidery, quilting, um, I know that a lot of the Juki Junkies followers yeah. do bag making, Lots um, of bag makers. using Glide. You can also, I've seen people piece with Glide as well. Um, I, I've seen full garments made with Glide. So yeah. it really is a universal thread that you can utilize in any of your sewing yeah, applications. And being somebody who uses the thread myself, all of our projects that we do even here on our Gigi's Fabric Shop shows, at home, all the quilts I've ever made, I've always used Glide for everything. And it's, it's just such a happy thread. It keeps my machine happy. It keeps my machine clean because it's virtually lent free. Um, so it's it's wonderful speaking from experience. <laughs> so I, I think that it's safe to say that Glide 40 weight, a lot of people end up adopting it and using it for a lot of applications for everything because if you you know you can kind of just tell from this right here i don't know if you guys can see this as good as i can but the dull color of the cotton thread versus that polyester and the polyester really seems to really pop on on bags right. and and the applications you use it on so quilting is like oh my gosh the stitches are just shining they look beautiful yeah. some people might not want the shine and that's when they yeah, get to they the want, cotton thread exactly and we'll get and into that too we'll get into that in a little bit later um, something else we wanted to talk about, we were, as we were kind of chit-chatting, we have our notes here. Um, me and Presley were talking about some things that are maybe like taboos that people think about this thread. Mm -hmm. So a really good um, one was Presley was saying, how does this thread launder? Um, can you use it on the top and the bottom? And how does it mix with like maybe using poly on the top and cotton on the bottom. So tell us how you feel about that. Yeah, so we'll start with the laundering aspect. So this is a polyester, just like a lot of our clothes are polyester these right. days, and you launder those just fine. So you can you can yes. still launder Glide thread. Um, okay, it's not going to <laughs> melt um, yeah. or or disintegrate. So it's still going to be there. It can Perfect. handle it. Um, and as far as using Glide on the top or on the bottom, I would say whatever top thread you're using, you're also going to want that on the bottom as well in the yes. bobbin. Um, which brings us to the pre-wounds that we have. Um, we've got pre-wound Magna Glide bobbins um, to match over a hundred of our top thread colors. Awesome. So this would be a great duo um, if you were using this color. You could pop this into your bobbin casing mm -hmm. and then sew with the top thread and have that consistent material throughout. Um, I wouldn't recommend using a polyester with a cotton bobbin or mm -hmm. vice versa. I would I would keep it consistent throughout. Yeah. Cool. So another good question that we see is what kind of machines can you use Glide 40 weight in? And I don't know if this is a Presley or a Bokey question, so yeah. maybe we can ask both of them. Yeah. Um, but I see a lot of people, like you said, long arming. Yeah. Um, what other machines do you guys really see well, these being used I on? I mean, since we kind of, Presley, you know, said this is kind of like that bread and butter, like it's used by so many type of people. This is such a universal type of thread. I feel like it can be used on 
most any home sewing machine. You can even use it in your industrial style um, uh, multi-needle embroidery machines. It's going to be fabulous for that embroidery. Um, it's going to be great in long arms because a lot of long arm quilters love those large spools. Oh, yeah. You guys are going to love that. Um, you can use it in your regular machines at home. Um, and then there are some limitations in the industrial world, uh, which we'll kind of dive into that later date. We're going to do another video on industrial threads, but really, so to speak, you can really use this on any sewing machine. We've even done it on sergers, believe it or not. We've even put it on the sergers and it does such a great job. So free motion quilting on your domestic machine as well is an option too, not just the long armors out there. You're going to be able to free motion beautifully on like, let's say the Juki TL or even the, maybe the DX seven or nx7 something like that so that lent free is that extra bonus it's that it's really the selling point on this thread it's going to keep you and your machine super clean and super happy cool so another question for presley would be how many color options are there i know oh, there's yeah. i know there's a lot <laughs> there's a because lot. i yeah. ship these out so <laughs> But so I feel like we're creating new colors every week, to be honest I with wow. you. Wow, so there's not an exact number right now. It's like no, we're, always more. We're close to 400 oh at this wow. point. Um, so if we don't have a color that matches your project, good it's luck finding it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and another cool thing is they, they came out with this glide color chart. Yes. So this yes. has, I think, all almost the colors all. that are out right now. Not all. Um, if not... It's Almost missing about 50. Okay. Yeah. And I'm sure they're going to come out with an updated version eventually. But yeah. this is really good. You can check it out on the in the description. We're, we're going to have a link to the Glide color chart. So yes. if you maybe haven't started with Glide, buy the Glide color chart. You can. It's actually real thread on this, so you can really feel what it's going to feel yep. like, and you can kind of see what it's going to look like. And then you can come back and purchase all the threads that you might want based on the colors on here. Because sometimes on the computer, I noticed this yesterday is you'll, you'll, yeah. you'll be like looking at threads and it's like the colors are not even close to what yeah. it really looks like. So the it glide color different. chart is yeah. amazing to have. Right. Because that really allows you to see and feel what it's going to look like before you spend a whole bunch of money on it. Um, so another question was obviously the king versus the mini spools. Um, what is like, would you say most of the time it's a much better value to buy the king size if your machine fits the king size? Yeah, I would I would say if you can go the king size route, yeah. um, definitely take advantage of that. Um, you get five times the amount of thread on this spool as you would the mini. Right. But we do see a lot of machine embroidery folks that like the mini spools because it fits better on their machines. And also, they're not doing huge projects that require a whole lot of thread. Yeah, gotcha. and if you if you like religiously use white or warm gray or uh, even light gray or anything like that, this is definitely where the value is going to be. Your so core colors. It, it's, yeah, your core colors for sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, and if you can't fit this obviously on your little sewing machine, there's always the option of getting thread stands. So you'll find those on our website too. We'll link them in the description. We'll link those as down well. below so you can mm -hmm. you can get those, and it's it's going to be great for that. So you can get those thread stands to make life a little bit easier. Perfect. So I think we've kind of gone over everything we yeah. need to know about Glide 40. And at the end of this video, we are going to um, pull up a computer and we ask questions on our Facebook group, which yes. if you didn't already know, Juki Junkies Facebook group, link in the description, it'll be there. Um, we asked, you know, questions. We have Presley from Filtech coming here. We wanted to know all the questions that you guys might have on, uh, th on Filtech threads. So we're going to go over all the questions that we got on the forum at the end of the video. So stick around for that as well. As of now, let's move on to, to uh, Glide 60. Glide 60. <laughs> Alrighty, so now let's talk about the Glide 60, something that I don't know much about. So I'm excited to hear about this one. <laughs> yeah, so Glide 60 is a polyester, just like the Glide 40, except for it's going to be a lot thinner. Mm -hmm. So you're going to want to use Glide 60 on anything that you want the thread to disappear in. Oh, or any intricate work that you're doing. So tiny mm. lettering. Um, it's going to be for um, those more delicate materials as mm -hmm. well um, as just a standard sewing thread. Cool. Right. So it's it's the same material as Glide 40. It's still that yes. polyester. Is it still tri global? No. So Glide 60 is actually just a round cross section. So oh, if okay. you were to take one strand of Glide 60, cut it down the middle and put it under a microscope, you would see just round circles versus <laughs> the glide, which is going to be kind of a dog bone shape. Any scientists in the house who want to experiment and let us know what <laughs> Maybe you we'll find? do a video on that one day. <laughs> that would be so cool. So just kind of judging off of, you know, what Presley was saying about application wise. So, you know, for that fine detail embroidery, I was kind of looking at her shirt, you see where it says by Filtech, this would be a great opportunity to throw this on your, like, let's say maybe the Tajima Sai, the, the mm -hmm. eight needle. You could throw this on the top and the bottom to do that fine detailed embroidery like you see on her shirt. It's just going to fill out those letters a little better. 
it's actually recommended to use a 60 weight thread on the bottom of right. your embroidery machine because in embroidery the tension's a little different so you want that thinner thread on the bottom um also we were talking about you know thinner types of fabric so like if you're working maybe with lace or organza or tulle something very fine where you don't want that thread to be seen you want it right. to melt in like presley said that would be a great place to use it Gigi also brought up a great point. You could use this for thread painting. So if you were doing something very, very intricate, you know, you're making your own kind of fun design, you're free motion quilting that, this would be a great way to build up that thread um, in a light sense. So it's not super, super heavy, super dense, but still fills it out really good. So that's a great thing to know. So I guess what I've gathered, since I don't know much about Glide 60, <laughs> is it sounds like thread painting, I don't even know what that is, but it sounds like it, it when you embroider with Glide 60, it it creates such a tight stitch together that it's almost like a piece of paper is getting placed on there. So you can kind of paint on it versus an yeah. individual stitch and there's like gaps right. in between it. It's just it, thinner, you know? yeah. So it's it's finer, it's more mm. delicate like your hair. You okay. know, it's right. thinner. So this is Glide 40 and it's a little confusing because 60 you think it's heavier, but 60 is thinner than Glide 40. So Glide 40 is actually stronger than the 60 weight. So the higher the number, the more delicate the thread is. Unless it's text. Yeah, then unless, it's yeah. higher, thicker. <laughs> Then they really less. want to confuse us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which so, we're confused on that stuff. Yeah. So don't worry. I can't wait for you to teach us all about yeah, that. We'll, we'll solve that on another <laughs> on another day. Um, and then I think the last thing we wanted to really touch about here was, you know, Presley was saying how it's always good to try to keep the same thing on the top and the bottom um, right. when you're sewing. So with this type of thread in the embroidery, obviously it's a little different, but you're still staying in the polyester family, right? So this isn't contradicting one another because they're still the same polyester. They're going to flow very nice when you're sewing so you can keep this on the bottom if you want that better mm. tension for your embroidery without causing too much commotion cool. <laughs> yeah so that's perfect what do we got next uh i have one more question oh, is okay. glide 60 is is the same color options as glide 40 is it oh good question no so we are limited on our color options with glide 60 okay. but we do have them on this color chart oh, so cool. there's a little over 20 colors um and the reason why we don't have a huge offering on that is because it is going to disappear into yeah. the fabric that it's sewn right. onto. So it's more just like the blend in with your um, core colors. It's like the, right. they more they have the core colors with this to blend sure. in with all the other shades exactly. with that Glide 40 has mm -hmm. to offer since they yeah. have so many colors right. here. And this is only okay. in a king spool too. So this doesn't come in like the smaller spools like this. This is just like this. So this is great for pre-winding all your bobbins at one time. You set this spool up and you're in bobbin winding mm -hmm. mode. So right. keep that in mind too. And do they have pre-wounds for Glide 60 too? Oh. We actually do have okay. pre-wounds for Glide 60 and that's really how we made a name for ourselves in this industry was the Magna Glide bobbins. Mm. Um, it That's is a right. 60 weight, um, and it's used by massive embroidery houses oh, across and we have those the world. So that's kind of where it just blew up, and yeah. you guys were like, okay, there's a market for this. Yes. Okay, another question we have um, is, we kind of didn't touch on this for the Glide 40 weight, but one of the questions was the do's and don'ts with the thread. Is there any don'ts with Glide 40 or Glide 60 while we're on that topic or that question? Is there anything that's like, okay, don't use this for this application, it's not going to be good for that? Not really. The only one I thought of was like anything microwavable. Yeah. You know, okay, like so anything you're going to stick in the microwave, you want to stay with cotton, right? Because it's okay. going to heat it up and you don't you don't want it to So melt. any polyester, don't put it in the microwave. Yeah, it's stick gonna... with your cotton options for your okay. microwavable bulk. So that's really the things. only don't we can see. That was the only don't. Okay. And I mean, for piecing, again, like you wouldn't want to keep this for piecing your quilts because it's just too fine. It's not made right. for that. This is not made for bad construction. It's not made for piecing So those would like be the that. don'ts for this This, this would be the yeah. don'ts. And for this one, really the only don't is don't stick it in the microwave. Okay, <laughs> um, that's good that then, we covered that. I like yeah, that. Yeah, so that was good. So okay. now I think cool. we're going to dive into the cotton family. Cotton, which so, we could start off with the carry quilts. Yes. So carry quilt thread let's dive into that yep yeah so our Cairo quilt is different from traditional cotton threads so what's nice about it is it's a long staple versus a short staple so okay. that long hmm. staple <laughs> allows for it to be a lot cleaner than your typical cotton thread gotcha. um, short staple tends to fray and build up on your machine a lot faster where the long staple holds and can lock itself onto one another a lot easier than oh. a short staple would. Look at that. It's Interesting. a long staple. <laughs> um, so, Cario Quilt, 
best applications, what are they used for? Right. Tell us a little bit about that. So we see that people use Cairo Quilt to pretty much do it all. Um, we've got the two different put up sizes here. Mm -hmm. We have people that piece um, with Cairo Quilt. That's probably where I see this used the most. Um, but we also have people who serge, embroider, long arm mm. quilt. Um, I've seen Cairo quilt some beautiful quilts. Um, we are limited on colors with our cotton. We have a little over 50 colors in the Cairo quilt, um, but we do have the matching bobbins, um, the mag magnetic core. So you would have the same type of bobbin, but with Cairo quilt instead of um, Glide. And yeah. that's all called Magna Glide. It's just the different threads well, will so, be Magna Glide Cario Quilt or? Yeah, so okay. it would be called Cairo or Magna Quilt for okay. the bobbins gotcha. the Cairo Quilt. And then I guess another question would be, um, it obviously comes in a mini. Cairo, yep. how do you pronounce that? Cairo, Cairo, Cairo. Like, like okay. in Cairo, Egypt. So <laughs> Cairo comes in the mini and the large spool. Mm -hmm. We didn't touch that on Glide 60 just briefly. We did. Was it? It mm -hmm. comes in small and large? Only large. Yeah. Okay, only large. Okay, that's cool. And then um, as far as these threads, it's just a very universal cotton thread, like you were saying. So if yeah. you like, if you prefer cotton, that is the Filtech cotton thread that you would be using on your clothes. Yeah. yeah, so there tends to be a little or bit of this, sewing. like, I wouldn't say a taboo, but people mm -hmm. think like when you work with cotton, you have to stay with a cotton thread. And if, if you want to do that, that's going to be great. Also, since this is a 50 weight thread, remember again, thinking in our numbers, we got 40, we got 50 and we got 60. 60 is the finest, 50 then gets a little bit thicker and then the 40 is the thickest. So mm. if you are a quilter who has maybe like a lot of seams going on, this is going to make those seams lay a little bit flatter. It's going to make the project just press out a little bit finer. Right. Um, and if you like to sticking with that cotton on cotton, go this route. This is a very high quality cotton thread that's going to be great for that. But really, and this is also going to be for the sticking in the microwave kind of project. Yeah. So, but <laughs> It'll you know, shrink with the cotton. Yeah, okay. exactly. So same kind of functionalities here. Really, it's like anything this guy can do, you can do it here. So this is going to be great. So my quilters are going to love this. My embroiderers are going to love this. Sergers are going to love this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you'll have a, you'll have a great time. And with you, you guys even mentioned embroidery. People just kind of yeah, use that. I didn't even I, know, I didn't know that. that. So I'm curious on that question. Yeah, I have seen some embroidery projects done with Cairo quilt. Okay. Um, if I were doing an embroidery project, I would stick with with Glide it's or got Glide that shine 60. To pop the stitches out more. Right, right. Yeah. but I have seen some people that they are adamant on sticking with cotton. So. Right. Yeah. And machines used for. Cairo, 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 Cairo. <laughs> it's going to be the same as the Glide 40. Pretty really? much every machine you can yeah. use Cairo, yeah. Cairo. You're, whatever. you're much. You're, you don't have. You're not super limited on that type okay. of thread. So cool. you can use it for whatever makes you happy. And in that large spool too. So for those long armors out there, or remember, thread stand is always an option. So if you like your what color is this? Light turquoise, and you want to have your light turquoise all the time, just get that big thread stand, and, and that'll make you be able to do cool. that. Cool. And you can use that on top and bottom as well. I think exactly. That. Yeah, and that would be recommended. Like again, like what Presley said, you wouldn't want to mix these two. Right? No. Right. You wouldn't want to put this on the bottom because this is poly and this is cotton. So you so want to keep stick them together. the same. Gotcha. Keep the keep the families together. Keep the the materials together. Materials okay. alike. So if yeah. it's cotton, cotton top and bottom. Exactly. Polyester, exactly. polyester top and bottom. Next thread would be Primo the Soft. Primo Soft, so, which I'm excited about this one because I feel like this one's still so new to me. So yeah. let's dive into the Primo Soft. Alrighty, let's do it. So uh, Presley, tell us a little bit about the Primo Soft. Okay, so. For the folks that don't like the sheen of Glad, um, which I just don't know why you wouldn't like the pop that it gives, but we do we do have an option for you if that's just not your cup of tea. So we've got um, Primo Soft, which is a spun polyester. Hmm. So much like the cotton, it's going to have that fuzzy look. Um, and if you like that, this is for you. So. How I mentioned about this, the cotton being a long staple, a staple fiber is just a short fiber that is then wound um, together and, and links itself together. So that's what happens here. So where Glide is a multi-filament, so we've got the same strand running through this entire spool, this is comprised of many strands that are wound um, with each other. Hmm. Hmm. So, so Primo Soft is going to have the look 
of cotton, but the strength of polyester. Wow. wow. That's why yeah. it's great Didn't for even surgers. Know that. That's awesome. Yes. yes, that's why that's great for surgers huh. because those surgers go that super high speed. You know, they're they're fast, they're they're linking, they're doing all those crazy things and you're overcasting in your surgers. So that's why we usually encourage Primos off for our surger uh, folks out there because yes. it's that really strong, durable thread like the Glide 40. So is it- But it has the it? cotton up here. Yes, yeah. okay. it has the cotton appearance, um, and it's it's very matte. So yeah. um, you can see it's even more matte than the Glide sixty. Yeah. Gotcha. So the Primo Soft really became our like universal thread, um, particularly during the pandemic. We had people that were making face masks um, that were doing gowns with spun polys. Okay. So. Um, it, it really is a thread that you can do it all with. I know we were talking earlier, people do embroider with Primo Soft. Yeah. Um, they also long arm with Primo Soft. That's great. So it's a, it's kind of a one-stop shop thread. That's so cool to hear because literally knew nothing about Primo Soft. Uh, as much as I do with Glide 40, I didn't know anything pretty much. And I knew it was really just for surgers. So that's cool to hear because it's yeah. pretty much for everything too, um, which is new to me. So that's awesome. So why would you maybe go over the Primo Soft over the Cairo quilt? So if, if yeah, mm -hmm. you're That's you're gonna really have good. the strength of a synthetic versus okay. a oh, natural. Okay. Oh, because gotcha. it's still poly, but it's like yeah. cotton. Oh, so okay, that's okay. why it's used for servers cotton because look. they need that strength and right. they want the cotton look. To go with their clothes. So it really is, right. if you're not surging or using a serger, you can go with the Cairo quilt. If you want the cotton look, if you're using the serger, go with the Primo Soft. And if yeah. you really just want super strong cotton looking thread, go with go the Primo Soft. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to use that for all your armors, applications. I mean. And how many colors? So we've got around 50 colors okay, um, in Primo good. Soft. So cool. there's pretty much a color to work for any project. And there's minis as well. And minis yeah. and kings. And probably no pre-wounds I'm assuming because it's... No, we have pre-wounds. Oh, so okay. we, again, <laughs> we've got um, the magnetic core and it's called Magna Soft. Huh. For that the, sounds cool. For the Primo Soft. So we've got L's and M's. That's cool. awesome. Oh, yeah, that's right. L's and M's. That was something to something Is there any too. don'ts with Primo Soft or anything that's like, no, don't do that for that. Don't use Primo Soft for that, I guess. Um, no, really. I would I would say just like the microwavable. Yeah, don't stick want to stay away from the polyester. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, so Primo Soft would be pretty much polyester, like polyester when it comes to sticking in the microwave. Exactly. You yeah. don't want to do that with the Primo Soft. The Cairo quilt, yes. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. one, no. Okay, right, that's right. cool. Um, and then I guess the other question for Primo Soft would be, I mean, I know we're not going to mention pricing in this video, but is Primo Soft typically more expensive than Cairo? Or um, Glide 40, or is it all pretty it's, much It's less expensive or? than Cairo. Okay. Um, it, it falls in between Glide and Cairo. Okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's kind of cool to know. Yeah, that's cool. Alrighty, and... Any questions that we might have on the Primo Soft? Because that I uh, yeah that, I learned the most about this one. I learned a lot sure. about that one too, honestly. That was pretty cool. I think that was pretty much it. They all kind of it all naturally kind of flowed from each thread. So it was interesting to see how this changed from this because I didn't even know you could use this on your sergers and, and yeah. just recently did we play around with putting this on sergers. So it was really cool to see how all of them kind of flowed from one another. So this is still 50 weight like right. the Cairo quilt. Okay, so cool. same same so thickness. same 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 thickness. So for, the Glide 40 is still that top the thickest type of thread. So yeah. bag makers will enjoy that because it's going to be great for um, putting your bags together for construction and doing that little bit fuller top stitch on your bags too. So um, I guess one other question I could have is we, we talked about MagnaGlide, but I don't think we did like a full talk topic on just MagnaGlide or all the pre-rounds. Are all the pre-rounds, do they all have this little magnetic uh, piece on them? Are they all the same pretty much in that aspect? So we, we have some different bobbins um, if you don't prefer the Magna Glide. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got the magnetic core, which is what we think is the best bobbin mm -hmm. ever. Um, yeah. We've got those to match all four thread lines that you're seeing here. Okay, okay. great. Which I don't think we carry all four. We only carry the Glide, I believe, right now. The Glide. And maybe and the Glide 60, some the of them. The Glide 60, yes. It's just, those two. it's a lot to stock for every single one and mm -hmm. every color. So, so hopefully so soon. Glide 40 weight, I think we have a lot of the colors and all these, we might not have the Magna mm -hmm. Glides for that. But Back to there the, is that option. Okay. So yes. um, we and what's nice is we have the matching colors too for the bobbins. Yeah. Very cool. Um, for those of you with domestic machines, we do have class 15 or A style bobbins. 
Um, oh, sorry. and here There's we go. The, yeah, the plastic ones. <laughs> these these are L's, but we um, also produce a plastic sided bobbin, and those are super nice because you can always tell how much thread you have left on it. Mm. Um, so you're not starting a project and then have to change a bobbin out. Um, so this is clear glide, and it's got um, mm. glide. This is actually glide sixty. That's right. Um, on these bobbins um, versus the magnet glide delights which have the magnetic centers yeah so for like the my anyone embroidery you're going to want to buy these all day so you don't even have to wind them if you don't wow. want That's you save cool. your time you get these that are already wound and then it's just such Damn. a time saver so that's what these are these are the pre-wounds for embroidery people yes and then yes. the magnet glide is for all around you know any sewing machine you got you can throw those in there it's got the mm -hmm. magnetic um thing so yeah. it just sticks in the bobbin case that's and that's right. for you can throw that in the computerized too so that's the one thing i want to talk about is when you have these with the magnetic cores these are going to be your best friend for my tl users mm -hmm. out there so anything juki tl 2010 2098 you name it anything tl these are going to be great for you you're going to put the magnetic inside the the bobbin case and actually me and Presley were talking about we always get asked should you keep the spring should you take out the spring what should you do and I think we just voted that it would probably be the best to just take the spring out to avoid the thread getting wrapped on anything because when you think about it this this type of um, bobbin has something covering the thread and this you see how it's exposed right mm -hmm. so when it's feeding off that spring in there could cause it to to get caught or something like that so just to avoid that whole fiasco you can just take the spring out to make your life a little bit easier and right. you can replace the spring by just putting it back in exactly it's super easy you're not breaking the bobbin okay. case you just take it in pop it back out and you put it put this in just like how you put a traditional bobbin inside thread falls on the right side magnet goes inside of the bobbin case okay. and that's it and then for these this is what you'd want to use on your computerized machines because this you would have to put it in backwards okay so that means that the thread now falls on the left side and which the, is the right side on a computerized though right no well yeah that's right on a computerized but now the magnet is facing up so what happens is we've noticed that sometimes it bounces a little bit for some people in their mm. computerized machines. So just to avoid any hiccups, it's better to go this route, this kind of. Um, and they have that in Glide 42. Do they have? Yeah, that's a good question. Do they? No, we just have the yeah. Glide 60. Yeah. yeah. So for computerized machines, you'd have to use Glide 60 if you want to pre-wound. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. you okay. could, but it, at the end of the day, it would just be best for you to wind your own bobbins out of the matching okay. colors or whatever colors you needed. So. But you you could also pair. Yeah. Um, oh, a yes. glide 60 on the on the, the bottom, bottom. Yeah. Um, with a 40 on top. Okay. That's right, because it's still good. polyester, so you're not breaking yeah. any rules there. <laughs> That's cool to hear. Yeah. Alrighty, so I think we've kind of gone yeah. over um, the glide 40 weight, which we can just kind of do a brief overview on what that's for. Um, so brief yeah. overview, yeah. applications. So I'll go through, um, just do a quick recap. Yeah. So glide 40, trilobal polyester, has a sheen. We've got almost 400 colors. Um, it would be used for bag making, piecing, um, long arm quilting, standard sewing, embroidery. Free everything. motion quilting. Free yeah, motion quilting. Um, Glide 60, intricate designs where mm -hmm. you want the thread to disappear or for intricate lettering, so micro mm -hmm. fonts. Mm -hmm. um, Cairo quilt, that's gonna be for um, just standard sewing, piecing, um, long arm quilting. Um, you could also free motion quilt with Cairo quilt. Right. Um, I'm trying to think, did I leave anything out? It's Im just a little thinner than yeah. that one. It is a little thinner, it's a 50 weight, um, but it has, we, we see that the R Cairo quilt has way less length than some of um, the other cotton threads out there. Mm -hmm. So you won't have to worry about Super dirty machines. <laughs> right, which we Lots hate. Which is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and then last, uh, Primo Soft. And that's just going to be for the folks that don't like the sheen of Glide but need the strength of polyester, mm -hmm. um, but the look of cotton. And we see that a lot in the sergers because yes. that's what they need. And then a quick overview is they're all made in the USA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like you were saying, they're all pretty well at keeping your machine very clean. Yeah. yeah. Glide 40 weight being probably the best because it's a For polyester sure. it's thread. A polyester. Right. It's um, not fuzzy. Cool. So yeah. I don't know if there's anything else. I guess we kind of did want to jump into the comments we had on the Facebook. So let's yeah. pull that up and check that out.
Alrighty guys, so let's do a couple questions from our Facebook post. And Boki's gonna read off like two or three since this video is probably getting a little long, and then we're gonna go over the giveaway that we have and the live show date and time that you guys are gonna wanna tune back in um, to watch the live show, which we're gonna do some giveaways with all these cool threads. So Boki, I Let's think there was two really great questions that actually uh, Kathy asked. Uh, one of them was, why so many types of thread? Is it purpose driven? That was one. And then it kind of connects to her next question as well. It says, why so many weights of thread? Maybe also purpose driven. If so, um, she was just wondering why are there so many types of threads and why are there so many different types of weights? Which so I, I think we kind of covered pretty well. If yeah. I'm sure that question is probably answered by the time we it's got to it. By, it's, <laughs> Once you it's watch answered. the video. Yeah, it's answered okay. in this in this um, in, this in this whole video. video. But I just think it's 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 an interesting question because there is so many different types of components that go into sewing. So there has to be lots of variables to choose from. Every mm -hmm. type of project you're sewing on, the needle is changed, the thread is changed, the purpose of the project also changes those factors as well. You know, like if you're working with bags, you gotta make your stitches not so tight, so it just doesn't like, cut the project right off like a little movie ticket um, with garments very thin garments you have to go thin you're not gonna work with a, a really thick thread where it just kind of eats up that thin fabric so right. it's definitely changes there's lots of moving components and that's why we do videos like this for you guys so you can understand down. and break it down and apply it to what you're doing so and I um, think you we do have a needle video that we yes, posted we it's do. Like, like a year or so old, so it's probably not as cool as this video is, as far as like quality and <laughs> We're audio, so much cooler now. which I think it might be better, hopefully. Yeah. Um, but we'll link that in the in the description, and I yes. think we'll probably have to do another video with more like um, you know putting yeah. these threads on your machine and telling them how you set them up on your machine for yes. success. Yeah, so kind I agree. Like we'll definitely, needles can always be talked about. So we'll come at a later time and do another more in-depth um, thing about the needles. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Thank you so much, Presley, for being yeah, here with thanks us. thanks for having and, me. And getting super scientific with us. <laughs> um, so let's talk about our giveaway. So our giveaway is coming up at the end of this month, April 26th, save the date. We're having a fun glide event. Actually, Presley's gonna be there with yep, me. I'll be here again. If you were here awesome. last year, you know how nervous I was. So uh, we're having our event on April 26th in our Gigi's Fabric Shop app, which is 100% free. I highly encourage you to download that app. That link will be in the description below. Um, so how the giveaway is going to work, we're going to do some giveaways and trivia questions on the live show. But today, just because of this video, you've made it to the end, so you deserve a giveaway. <laughs> um, how you can enter in the giveaway today is we'll set the, the instructions in the description for you guys. But you got to make sure you're following Habitash on Instagram. Yep following Gigi's Fabric Shop and Juki Junkies on Instagram and download our app. So for if your first time on the app, by the way, you'll get a coupon for your first time ever purchase. It's Hello23. It'll give you 10% off wow. your first ever purchase on the app. So download cool. that. And I hope to see you on April 26th for some extra fun giveaways. And we'll announce our winners and do more questions for you guys because I know those questions mean a lot to you. So cool. And don't forget to like this video, comment down below what you learned. Um, maybe yeah. tell us what you might want to learn more on the next video. And we're going to do a part two here on industrial threads and all the other specialty threads that Philtech has to offer. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Anything else? That's really it. Just a That's big it. thank you to Presley once yeah. again thank for you, being here for with us. Me. Thank you so much. And we'll, you'll see her again on yeah, the 26th. Looking forward to the Glive event. The Glive. Glive. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. See you guys. Bye. See ya.